Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I'm going to give you a really cool demo here around how you can speed up your own development within Power BI like you would not believe and how I'm doing it now with our new application, the Analyst Hub. So, you know, we set out to create the Analyst Hub to become the ultimate productivity and collaboration tool around Power BI, right? And I think we are well on our well on our way, if not there already, with just some of the features we've built in already. So you can um, easily uh, create an account here. And and what I thought I'd do is I, was, I, I would also enable. Um, we have a few plans with the Analyst Hub, and what I was going to do is enable a link that enable you to trial out all of the functionality. Um, you know, within this within this particular video description, and so I'll I'll make sure that that is placed around this video, and uh, you can get access to all of these different aspects that that I'm going to go into today. So here, um, I'm in the Analyst Hub homepage. You can you can sign up for free, but with limited functionality. So that's why we're going to um, also enable some some free access for you as well if you if you download um, use the right coupon. Now I'm just going to jump into the App Center here. So I'm already logged in, uh, and I've already got a a whole lot of things set up here right now what I want to show you here is how um, I am using the DAX uh, cleanup tool and the the, the ability to save um, my formulas the ability to save my formulas within my personal documents here you see personal documents I'm able to save all of my favorite formulas within here really simply and easily okay and I want to show you the workflow of how you can do it um, and how you can set it up yourself. And you'll be amazed at how much this is gonna speed up your development. Like you just, it's crazy. It is crazy how much faster you can build your Power BI reports and, and especially the analysis that you're creating, right? So I can, I'm just gonna jump into the DAX cleanup tool here, right? So this is also, this is actually a formatting tool as well, right? So this is, um, not only do you get to um, this awesome functionality of saving, we'll also format them automatically, format your formulas as well. So you see down here, uh, that you know this is pretty common right when you when you really start to build out your models you, you have a lot of formula patterns a lot of like really common techniques analysis techniques you use over and over and over and over again and so what I've um, uh, and what I have done historically is you know I've written these all out myself and I've put them into measure groups etc um, and I still feel like that is best practice I mean you could you could maybe put these into folders now I've seen that a lot lately um, especially with some of the challenges that we run at Enterprise DNA and I think that's also um, really really good but it doesn't stop you from using this functionality. So, for example, right, say I wanted to, um, I've got like a formula pattern here, right? So moving averages, okay? So I can click in here, and this is one month moving average, right? So I can I can copy this, and I paste it into my DAX cleanup tool, right? So I just paste it in there, just a, I just did a Control C, Control V, and then I go format, right? Okay, so now it's formatted in this particular format. Um, I'm happy calling this sales one month uh, to date. And then, I mean, I could change this around though. This is the great thing. I could say, I could come in here and this is your total flexibility. All I did was push edit and I said, okay, maybe maybe I wanna go and call this the moving average formula um, pattern or some, something like that, right? I can call it. I can call it whatever I like and then I can just go commit and now I have this um, format formatted so that I can reuse it in my in my model okay you might want to adjust things a little bit in terms of the formula as well like sometimes you know this is not uh, totally um, prescriptive you don't have to use one sort of formula pattern which I was really big on when we set this up you have total flexibility so maybe I want to actually save it like that okay um, maybe I'll do one more additional change here I have that up one row like so Okay, so look, just for um, example's sake. Okay, now what I wanna do, I'm gonna save this formula. So I click save this formula, and I'm gonna put in here, moving average uh, moving average pattern. Okay, you can name it however you like. We also have the ability for you to write anything about them for moving average pattern. I can say this is the moving average formula pattern. And we've, we've enabled some better description functionality recently. Uh, and here as well, we can say um, currently, currently set to one month. Okay, and I'm going to save this down. Okay, so now my document is saved. Now, if I come into my personal documents, my moving average pattern is there, right? And I can really quickly now come in here. I've got my pattern, and think about this. This think about you know, obviously you can. I can come in and copy it and copy it straight into my model, right, to get my formulas sorted nicely. 
okay and then i can obviously come in here and rename it if i want i can say okay this is the sales one month moving average like it was before but the whole idea here is that you can set up your formula patterns and then really copy them and paste them really quickly into your model so say for instance i was creating all of these from scratch well what i could do is i could come in here and i could say okay let's copy this again uh, quickly come into here and maybe i want to create a new measure um, and then i can copy it in right and i'm going to say okay i'm going to call this um, sales three month moving average right and then i just make a few changes and then all of a sudden i've got a new a new formula okay so obviously you know you you know the th start to think of the benefits here right of how quickly you can not only like create multiple different variations of the same pattern but have multiple patterns that you might want to use right so here's another one i've got averages per day okay so maybe i want to um do something let's have a look average sales per month okay maybe this is a this is a, a decent pattern okay nothing too complicated here but i can copy this over and i can just store this inside of my um uh, inside of my analyst hub right my analyst hub profile so i can format it and then I've got it formatted nicely. I can save this formula. I'm going to say average per month um, pattern. This calculates the average X per month with a month and year column, right? Okay, and I'm going to save this into my personal documents again. Okay, now if I wanted to, um, I mean, you don't you don't have to save it by the way as well. Like what you can do is you can just get your form. This this can totally be used as a formatter, e you know, easily as well. But the whole I think the where the where the scale comes in is when you can actually save it. And so then I can come in here and obviously I can uh, rework this formula quite easily, like so. Um, but obviously, you know, there's going to be, it's much more effective when I'm sort of starting from scratch and I want to quickly add, okay, what's, a, what's my cumulative total? What's my averages per day? What's my moving average? What's my ranking, my ranking techniques, right? So maybe, um, maybe I want to grab sales of bottom 80% customers. This is, a, this is a really good pattern, right? So I can come in here, I can copy this. And again, I'm going to come into my, um, my app center. I'm going to use the DAX cleanup tool. I'm going to pop this in here. I'm going to format it. And then uh, I'm, in this particular case, I'm going to say, I'm just going to copy this here. I'm going to save this formula. Um, uh, showcases, showcases the bottom 80% customers based on ranking. Okay, I'm going to save, save this down. So I'll save this as, uh, this is, we're saving as a personal document here first. Now, um, so now basically what I've got here is I've got this formula pattern that enables me to use, you know, it's got it's, it's quite complex, right? Imagine having to think this up all the time, have to write it out from scratch. You know, the whole idea now is that you can set up all of your formulas in here and it is seriously, seriously easy to come in here and now copy that and copy it into your model. I mean, it's just crazy simple, right? And this is, that's not all, that's not all, okay? So these are just my personal documents here. And this is where we're getting an amazing amount of um, community buy-in and input from others who are you know, accessing the Analyst Hub, which is in the hundreds already. You know, we've only, we've only released this for a couple of weeks, so it's super exciting where this is going. Um, but what I can do is I can actually, instead of clicking on Open Document, I can click on the outside here and we can, we can discuss, we can discuss about, um, we can have some collaboration around the formula. But the other thing I wanted to touch upon here is I can turn this to shared, okay? I can share this now, and that's where the community comes in, right? So now, now this is in the community, right? And what I can do in, in, within the community is I can then leverage off the community. So for example, um, let's have a look at this formula here so hiding future dates for calculations in dax okay so what i can do is i can go open document well that's actually not too difficult is it um that's not uh there's not a very good example so i'll find another one alternative formula with lookup value okay so you see here that others others are using this to save different formulas that they are currently working on as well 
So it's it's basically building up your formula catalog, right? And that that is what that is what we always set out to do, and what we are currently working, you know, and currently what I'm seeing happen within the community. So I'm just want to find another. So previous value, no weekends and no holidays. Okay, this is a good, good pattern, right? So we we want to grab the previous value, no weekends, no holidays. Okay, and so this is a. Um, you know, this, this is a relatively complex formula that would be very hard to go figure out yourself. But what we're doing is we're leveraging off the community. And what I can do is I can then, I can obviously like it, um, but what I can do, if, say I wanna share this, I want to put this in my own documents. I can come in here and I can click on the copy and I can use this document in my own. And I can say um, previous value exclude i can name it whatever i like excluding weekends and holidays right i then can save it as quickly as that come into my own document and it is now within my own documents i can then come in and customize the formatting however i like rename it however i like i can then copy the code directly into my into my model in a new measure you know and all of this can happen so much quicker right so I, I want to round off there. I'm going to show this many times because literally I'm going to use this every time I develop anything in Power BI now. Um, but I just want to highlight how I'm using it and how the community is using it. And I really want you to try it out. So definitely take advantage of this, um, you know, this opportunity to try out all the functionality of the Analyst Hub. Um, you know, I just know you won't be disappointed. We've got hundreds of users already using it. Uh, and so, you know, I want to get you involved so you can leverage off, you know, the immense amount of investment we've made in this in this particular tool. Um, and you'll see how it can improve your own development like like crazy. And, and as uh, you know, your own productivity around Power BI is, is going to increase by a factor of two to three times. I, I'm, I'm fully confident of that because I know it's happening for me. Um, OK, so all the best. Uh, thanks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, really, really enjoyed discussing the Analyst Hub. Hopefully, you like uh, seeing it in action as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, um, this video, definitely throw the video a like, and uh, look forward to next time, um, next time, uh, next videos, and make sure to subscribe to get those as soon as they come out. Okay, take care, everyone.